Moving on, the Green Bay Packers. 6-10 and 10 last year. Mike McCarthy got fired. Um, did I say that right? Yep. Is that right name? You got it. Oh, I was, I was thinking Mike McIntyre from Colorado. No. That's right. Mike so McCarthy. Mike McCarthy, right, Mike. he's fired. 6-10. Uh, and 10. To win the division this year, they're plus 190 in Vegas. This number is always inflated. That's right. Uh, strength of schedule, number 18. Turnover margin, they were number 19 last year, or tied for that with zero. They had dead on zero for turnover margin. Over under is nine and a half. To go over is plus 120. To go under is minus 140. New head coach is Matt LaFleur. He was the Titans offensive coordinator. One year uh, as a Titans OC. One year as the OC. He was also the offensive coordinator for the Rams in Sean McVay's first year. Uh, he did not call plays for the Rams, but he did for the Titans last year. Um, which And the Titans offense was bad last year. It, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I just don't think he knew how to use the personnel. But either way, they are projected favorite in nine games this year. Uh, I don't know what that means because, again, these numbers are always inflated with yeah, this team. Yeah, it's the Rodgers effect. Uh, total yards per play, they were number 13 in the country in offense last year. Uh, 5.8 yards per play they averaged. On defense, number 14. That surprised me. They gave up 5.6 yards per play. Uh, just a, a touch better than average. Offense coordinator is Nathaniel Hackett, who was Jacksonville's offensive coordinator. I was really surprised that they brought him in with as poorly as Jacksonville played on offense. Defensive coordinator is Mike Pettin. Uh, they signed guard Billy Turner. They tried to shore up that offensive line a little bit. They drafted tight end Jace Sternberger, who I think was maybe third best tight end in the draft last year, and they got him in the fourth round. Maybe. Um, yeah. He he He's good. blossomed under Jimbo Fisher at Texas a Correct. So led, uh, led college football in touchdown receptions uh, for a tight end. On defense, they signed Adrian Amos, uh, free safety, linebacker Preston Smith, linebacker Zadarius Smith. They drafted linebacker uh, or defensive end, whatever you want. I think he'll fit more linebacker with this scheme. Uh, but Rashawn Gary from Michigan. And they drafted safety Darnell Savage to replace HaHa Clinton Dix. Again, projected favorite, nine games. The number's nine and a half. I think nine and seven works well for this team. Aaron Rodgers, he's still, like, they lose Randall Cobb, but they've still got some wide receivers that he can make better. That's right. Um you know, Aaron Jones still back there at running back. I think the defense, again, surprised me at the number. They were a little bit better than I thought they were. But 9-7, and seven, I think so long as Rodgers is not hurt, I think he's going to be okay. He wasn't hurt last year. Played the entire season. And he did play, and but he, he... Of course. He won okay. six games, and so he's going to say, I played the whole year hurt. Uh, okay. I get that. Okay. I get that. When I do bad, i am always got an excuse, too. Um, <laughs> here's... I think they're going to be. Here's, I always here's the thing. Forget going into these things, how much you hate Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> My problem is this. Okay, I don't think they go backwards at all from last year. I think they stay the exact same because I don't know that Matt Lafleur is going to be a better head coach than Mike McCarthy. Actually, I, I'm almost positive he's not going to be as good as Mike McCarthy. Mike yeah. McCarthy won a Super Bowl. Yeah. Matt Lafleur was the guy that stood next to Sean McVay. And then he went to the Titans, whose offense was kind of going in a good direction and went backwards substantially. Yeah. Like, like not a little, a lot. All right? And, and they had a better offensive line than the Packers do. They had a better um, running back core than the Packers do. Not as good. They don't have, like, a, a, an Adams. But probably better receivers overall. Now, not close to a quarterback as, as Aaron Rodgers is. But, but it's just one of those things where – Rodgers, Rodgers doesn't like being coached hard, and so they got rid of a coach that he didn't like yeah. and he didn't get along with, and they brought in a guy that we don't know if he likes, and we don't know if this guy's good at all. I do think Mike Pettin is a is a good defensive mind, a good defensive coach. The defense could take a step forward. I could easily see the offense taking a step backwards. I know it's easy to say Devontae Adams is a stud and Aaron Rodgers is a beast and they're going to figure it out. That's not how the NFL works. Really talented guys get beat all the time because of scheming. If other defenses can come in and know what he's doing and figure things out, then, then it's going to be really hard to win games. I think this division is better. This division might be the best division in football. I think it is the best division in the NFC. And 
And I, I just think it's going to be tough. I think they're going to do exactly what they did last year. I think they're going to be 6-10. and 10. I think the Bears' defense is better. I think the – well, I don't know about better because losing Vic Fangio is tough. But they're going to be really good. I think the Vikings' defense is better. Um, I think the, the, the Lions' defense is going to be better. And I don't think the schedule is very easy. Yeah. I think they'll be exactly what they were last year. So 6-10, and 10, and I've got them at 9-7. and seven. Okay. We can do that. 